okay i got these new things to take to market and how cool does it look i've been trying to find a way to i don't know make it better for the sticker packs the notebooks and all of that i think this is the perfect way mariana got this really cute small one and i think this will be perfect for sticker sheets um, and sticker packs I think oh my god look how it looks everything looks so organized i actually bought another table to take to markets because the one that i take it's already getting too small and i think this will fit perfectly i just wish this little things were more the back because this happens like a lot you know especially when it's windy and with notebooks like if they do this i'll have to uh, be constantly pulling them um to the side but yeah i'm just going to oh no i can put like some paper in here or some wood uh so they don't fall but yeah i saw i got this idea from jenny from Hollywood and mabel so i'm going to leave a links down below she did a market and shared all about this um this is some spool holders for like those little line thread things um that you put in here but i think those will be super super cool for markets and i'll let you know how it goes i'm not sure how it's going to be but for at least like for postcards and stuff um it's really cool not sure about the notebooks because they keep falling like they are really easy to transport because you can just put the legs here and you can transport them i can put them in my market bag like this so yeah really really happy with them i got a two pack because it was almost at the same price i think it was like 30 euros for both of them and if i only got one it was like 20 euros um so yeah quite happy with them look how cute it looks i can't wait to see it like on the table and all of that really exciting Welcome back to another studio vlog it's already wednesday and i think this is the first time that i'm talking like showing my face on the vlog um i've been trying to i don't know do all the things this week and yesterday um it was my boyfriend's birthday so i took the afternoon and i did a surprise with his family so that was quite nice but i wasn't here for most of the day basically this weekend this week i'm trying to focus more on patreon because this friday it will be my patreon relaunch which i'm super excited about and then next week i'm going to try to focus on the launch of my new subscription box that is going to happen on my website if you haven't been checking like last uh, videos um basically um until now you could only get the goodies on my patreon but i know a lot of people are still I don't know back and forth if they uh, want to join patreon don't really understand how it works and all of that um so uh starting in july you'll be able to get the goodies that i sent to my patreon as a subscription box on my website you'll be able to pay bi-monthly and you can choose uh, to pay until cancellation or just pay for three months that will be like six months but three boxes um and all of that but i'll make a video explaining all about that but yeah i'm trying to uh create new illustrations for the tiers i already changed the tiers uh descriptions i've been um trying to also 
look at the tiers and see what I could change, what I could improve, what I could take out that wasn't like really adding any value to it. Also trying to do the math, seeing um, if I was doing the right prices and all of that. And I'm going to increase the price of the bear tier um, because I was really down charging it. A lot of people have like 15 to 17 tier, um, like euros or dollars tier on their Patreon, but it's like stickers and a print or a postcard or something like that and I'm basically sending full goodie boxes like with a lot of goodies um, and I was really down charging that so I made the decision to up the prices on the bears tier all the other tiers will remain the same but the subscription box will be I think with the same value um, as I have on my Patreon. So basically if you join Patreon, you'll get all the extra content, but if you only want the goodies, you can um, join the subscription box. They are still not on my website. I'm still working on them. So yeah, as I said, this week I'm going to focus on relaunching my Patreon, uh, talking about it, and then next week I'll do uh, the subscription box. But in the meanwhile, I ordered a restock of the fairies and the sa snails washies because I ran out of them, which is amazing that I run out of stock and I ordered from a new manufacturer and they arrived during the morning so I thought we could unbox it together and see how they look I'm a little afraid but since it was like um, I wanted to try a new manufacturer for a while because mine it has been sometimes they are good sometimes they are not really what I expected so I really wanted to try a new one to see the difference of it all um, and I decided to do that with a uh, restocks so then I have something to compare to so yeah let's open it okay, so far they look huge and I really like the snail one because I felt like the other ones were too saturated and these are it looks like it's a lot closer to the original colors. Okay, let's open one. They look super cute and I really like the sticker. As you can see, like the colors of the sticker and oh my god, you can't see anything. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see, but the colors of the sticker and the washi match and with the previous one, I'm going to show you them, um, but they didn't really match. So I believe the washi, it's a lot closer to the original colors. So with my current manufacturer, I always add this issue with the stickers quality and all of that but i think with this one is a lot better i'm going to open them and we are going to compare with the other ones i couldn't find any roll of the fairies but i have these ones to compare and i have a roll here of the snail ones what the difference um i'm going to open them because with the shine you can't really see Okay, so the sticker has a little bit of a difference. This is the new one. It's a little bit more vivid, um, but I think it's way similar to the um, original colors. And then let's open them. Yep, this is way better. <laughs> What a difference. <laughs> oh my God, I really, really like this one, but I'm more into this one because the colors are a lot similar to the ones that I used for my illustrations and all of that. So I might have to take some new photos for the snail ones because they are a lot different, uh, but I still have a bunch of these with like the, um, the bundles that I have with a thinner washi. Um, so I'll leave those, but yeah, quite happy with them. Let's try the fairies one now. with this one it's not a big of the difference i mostly see the difference on like the um, the yellows and the reds because with my other manufacturer i noticed that always they look way too saturated like the reds and the um, yellows and all of that but with this one i really really like it but with this one i don't see as much of a difference um, as with the snail so this is the old one and this is the new one but this one my god grab the sticker sheet of the snails of course the colors are a little bit different and the um, background seems a little bit lighter because you know different papers and all of that but you can see like the design match a lot better uh, with this one than um, with this one because yeah the colors are a lot similar like the yellows the red no comparison really quite happy 
with this new uh, manufacturer tryout and I think I'm going to start ordering from them. I see a lot of people and comments, especially on YouTube, um, talking badly and being a little bit mean of people that don't really want to share their manufacturers. I only share mine with my patrons, um, but this is probably one of the biggest reasons people don't really want to share manufacturers because one time you order and you are super happy with them and another time they don't really match the quality they showed you before so it can be really hard if one of you guys ordered from my previous manufacturer or something like that and then your washes arrived and you don't really like them and then i would feel uh, the guilt of um, me i don't know you trusting my worth and all of that um so yeah this is one of the reasons if you are following other people manufacturers and all of that please take that in consideration and also um everyone has a different taste and a different i don't know um expectation when it comes to the final product so uh, some people might enjoy one manufacturer and the way that they work and all of that but you might not really enjoy them uh so yeah do your own research search on alibaba and all of that um and yeah try to do some research other reason is um there's always a lot of um research involved like one of the few products that i don't really share my manufacturers is my socks and as you might see one of the reason it's because they run out of stock very easily i can only find them in two websites so i don't really want to share that information uh because that can affect my business directly as it did um my manufacturer was out of socks for a while but yeah try to understand why people don't do it and there's nothing um there's no obligation to share manufacturers uh we don't go to big shops and all of that and ask them where they do their t-shirts and all of that so um, don't put that pressure on small businesses and try to understand there's always a very good reason behind it so yeah i thought i could mention all of that for a little so yeah, i'm going to go on the computer um and probably on the ipad and i'm going to try to do the new illustrations for the patreon tier so let's work on that i hope you enjoy the washies <laughs> let's go i ordered other things for market so let me show you I got a new table. Man! Oh, I'm a bridge there. Oh no. Oh no! Oh. I got a bench. Um, I didn't bought a share because it was already too much money, uh, but I got a bench. I didn't have any collapsible ones and this fits on my back perfectly. Um, so yeah, I now have a place to sit in market. <laughs> I think this was 30 euros or something. It has like a thing to grab like my other one um, and this way I can have more space because my table was getting really really small so can't wait to put my stand in place with this one now and see the difference. It's now a little later and I've been working on the sketches for the tears. I did the little owl and the bear and I really really love this illustration. This is from the um, original ones that I had. Let me show you. This is the illustration that I had before and I really really like it. So I think I'm just going to use the same sketch and just try to do it as I do my illustrations now with more textures and all of that. And I still really really like this whale so I think I'm going to do the same with that. And in the meanwhile I already started to do some changes here. I already changed all the tiers description. I already added the tiers with the new prices um, and now the old ones um, are like unpublished so only the ones with like the new uh, prices are published and I also already changed the pictures from these two because I already had these illustrations and I really really love them so I'm going to leave them like this the sad part is when I try to preview the page, they don't appear as big as this and I don't know why. 
So let me show how the page is looking. So I did this new banner and then the tiers look like this. So they look a lot smaller uh, than when I can see them the other way. Uh, but I still really, really like them. And then I also changed my about me on here on Patreon. So I had it this cool banner things. I changed my text because I still haven't updated it since I created my Patreon in 2020. Um, so yeah, this is how it's looking and I think it looks quite pretty, so yay! After this Patreon relaunch thing, I'm going to start to actually build a community on my website. I want to do something kind of like Patreon, but on my own terms, with my own website. Um, I already am putting together the tiers, they are going to be exactly the same as on my Patreon, but this way I can get more income from it, because I don't know if you know this, uh, but that number that you can see on my Patreon page, it's the number that I get on my bank accounts. But with together with all the pledges and all of that, it will be a lot more um, than that number that you can see on my Patreon page because they ta take a big chunk of commissions and all of that. So yeah, I'm trying to get away from these platforms like Etsy and all of that. I still have them and I'm still going to have them because I'm really grateful for them as well and the, possibility, the possibilities that they gave me and all of that but i really want to start to um be like on my own website and trying to i don't know be more in charge of things because sometimes patreon goes down or it has a lot of errors and stuff so yeah i really want to start to focus more on my own community on my own website um, but for now i only have the patreon when i release the community on my website i'll just release that as well but yeah for now i only have this and it's looking cute so yeah i'm quite happy with that and i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow i'm going to get home now i'm going to do the illustrations for the tears i'll show you guys how the page is looking tomorrow so now the next day it's now thursday and my patreon page is ready for the launch tomorrow or relaunch should i say so let me show you how it looks so this is what you see when you join then you have the tiers and this is the illustrations you might recognize this ones uh, because these ones uh, were from Patreon boxes, from previous ones. Then I did a new owl, did a new deer. I'll show you on the iPad a little bit uh, for you to see better. The bears and the little whale. The page looks quite cohesive and cute. I've been meaning to change it out for a while. And these are the posts that I've been doing for Instagram. These are the ones that I'm going to post tomorrow. That is the bears and the whales. And it says like a brief thing about the tears and all of that. I didn't change much, much about the whale. I just took the um, rounded cheeks, cheeks and I had a little, little bit more textures. I really like this bear guy. And I also changed up the deers as I said yesterday. I'm quite happy with the posts and all of that. Um, let me show you how it looks. So this is how it looks on my Instagram. So I posted this one saying about the Patreon relaunch. And then today I've posted this one, as you can see my Instagram has been the worst at reaching people. I also made a poll yesterday on Instagram asking if I should release my membership community on my website um, and like around 40 people voted yes. Um, so yeah, it's going to be kind of like Patreon, but I'll, I'll keep you posted all about that next week because I'm releasing it. I decided that I'm going to release it together with the subscription boxes and I'll explain why, why I'm going to have two separate things. I'm still trying to see if I could do all together, but that's going to be the things for next week. I'm really, really excited about that. So I thought I could sit down and talk a little bit briefly what is going to change on my Patreon and all of that. Let's chat. 
I had to take my glasses because of the reflection but yeah I, I was going to do a separate video but I really want to I don't know get it out there um, as you probably know by now I did a pause on June and I took this time to reevaluate the, um, the content that I had on my patreon because I wanted to be mindful and helpful um, and not just have like a bunch of content there just to um, have it more I want to have more quality over quantity so that's basically what I did so there's not really a big difference is just the amount of content um, and all of that that is going to be different so I'm going to have six tiers on my patreon as I already did um, and I have tiers from that goes from one euro plus VAT to 25 euros plus VAT so I want you to keep it accessible for everyone um, and have as much content as I could on the lower tiers the first tier that I want to talk about is the B tier that it's the first one that you can join for one euro plus VAT and you'll get access to monthly podcasts where I talk about life business uh, what I've been worried about that normally it's a lot of things you'll also get access to exclusive stories on Instagram and you'll also get access to exclusive live that I'll be doing from time to time over on my patreon exclusive just for patrons and the next year it's the toads tier that it's three euros plus VAT you'll get access to time lapses of my illustration process and I normally add voiceovers on those time lapse and I explain why I choose certain things certain colors how I add texture and explain a little bit um, about my process you'll also get access to Q&A podcasts from time to time and also polls and digital downloads that can be wallpapers, notepads, um, monthly planners, illustrated recipes, letter sets. Um, I did um, desktop icons once and all that. So basically when you join my Patreon, you'll also get all the content that I've posted previously. Um, I started my Patreon on July. 2020 uh, so I think it's going to mark two years that I'm going to be on patreon actually for the relaunch I still haven't thought of that um, but yeah you'll get access to all the content that I've posted since then so you'll get a bunch of printables and digital downloads and podcasts and exclusive videos I'm going to stop making exclusive videos right now but you can watch all the previous one that I already posted so that's exciting as well here um, above that it's the five euro tier plus VAT that is the owl tier and it's an exciting one because you'll be able to get access to a monthly video call that I do with my patrons we just chat and draw mostly just chat about life and all kind of things going on um, and you'll also be able to access a live tutorial um, that I do every two months and the tiers above that are goodie tiers from one euro to five euros it will be like exclusive content and and then if you join the higher tiers um, above that it will be uh, just for the goodie tiers but of course you'll get access to all the previous content from the um, tiers below that so I have the deer tier where you get a sticky sheet every two months and I have the bear tier where you get like the full box of goodies that you normally see on my studio vlogs uh, normally it has like a sticky sheet a vinyl sticker a mini print and another exclusive item and it comes like with a box with the full packaging and all of that the exclusive item can be notebooks bookmarks um, zines notepads all of that every month I change it around to be different and then above that you also have the whale steer where you get all of these goodies and also an exclusive extra pin hopefully I'm not forgetting anything I know it's a lot of info but yeah, I'm really excited because I feel like I'm finally finding a balance with my patreon and the content that I'm going to put out there and if you want to wait and not join my patreon on the 1st of July or in July you can wait a week and I'm going to be launching my uh, membership community page on my own website it's going to be similar to patreon I'm going to have the tiers there basically on my website I won't pay as much fees as I pay on patreon so it's going to be a little bit bigger of a help I'm going to leave my patreon page 
page down below if you want to check that out even just seeing the new illustrations and all of that will mean a lot and if you want to share share it on instagram and all of that it will be a major help to reach more people um so yeah if you want to support my work i'm going to leave links in the description but just watching these videos and subscribing to my channel and all of that so, so i i can't even believe that like i can call like this my job it's still mind-blowing to me thank you so so much for all your help all your support i really hope you enjoyed seeing this behind the scenes of getting my patreon really launch ready and yeah i can't wait to put all of these new things out there so yeah i hope uh you enjoyed this video and i'll speak to you guys really soon bye bye